I'm Renee, an American. And I'm Jesse, a Kiwi. He's a water boy. And she's a plant girl. We are from opposite sides of the world. But we met in a tiny town in the northwest tip of Australia. We live in Sydney with our little man, Quentin. And love the simple things in life. Being outdoors. Exploring. Traveling. <laughs> and taking the time to watch the sunset. Tune in for our, our next, next adventure. adventure. The best things that I've seen so far has been his little smirks that he gets when he's just about falling asleep. After a milk feeding, he'll get some cool facial expressions on the coma. So that's been pretty cool. He does like a little to infinity and beyond and like raises up one hand. Or a superman because he stretches out, he'll stretch out both his legs at the same time. I love looking at his eyes <laughs> when they're open and just being close to him. <laughs> he is a bundle of joy. The thing that I've felt the hardest has been trying to stick to a little bit of a routine. That's been probably the most difficult, but I feel like we've gotten better at it now. We've definitely gotten better at it now because I put on clothes today. <laughs> So, bit of a roller coaster. I think he was unsettled because it was going from the hospital to here and had to figure out, learn how to sleep. Learn how to feed. Learn how to feed. We've had some cold nights as well. But we are feeling like we're starting to get used to things. Starting to get a bit more sleep. Mum is doing great. <laughs> Mum's been crying a lot. But apparently that's the hormones, so I have an excuse. <laughs> Quentin has found his rhythm, which has feeding occurring every one and a half hours. <laughs> it's nice to have a rhythm, but it would also be nice to have a rhythm with a little bit more sleep in between. He can't hold up his head. Ah! Muscles aren't strong enough yet. Muscles aren't <laughs> strong enough yet. We'll, we'll try. <laughs> We ended up going to the GP yesterday. We found out we were just worried, loving parents. <laughs> uh, I love GP. Yeah. It's so cute. We're having a successful photo shoot so far. Baby Quentin had trouble sleeping alone, 
so he spent a lot of time on my chest or lap. When he got a little older, he felt more secure in his bassinet and could fall asleep with his binky and a tight swaddle. But if you didn't wrap him tight enough, he would break out like Houdini. I never had time to get anything done though, because Quentin would only nap for 30 minutes at a time. At least he slept well at night. We had up to five hours of freedom when Renee could even have a beer. Cheers! Are you hungry again, little man? <laughs> oh, there you go! Yeah! Hey, Quinn! It's okay. You're just trying to get some neck muscles. Yeah! Yeah! Good work! Are you an early riser? Quentin is such a smiley baby. A happy baby. At first, he only smiled when falling asleep after a milk feed. But soon enough, he was full of big gummy smiles whenever his loving parents would talk to him. Do you have hiccups? Are you happy about them though? You don't mind these hiccups, do you? When his dad would sing, Do te mana iwi owe tahiru atorpa is your he. When his mum would sing, Mana mana do 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 do. Mana mana do 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 do. Quentin is a very social little man. Are you having fun, Quentin? In his third month, Quentin started using his hands to grab toys. He would also use his feet to kick his mobile or to kick out of his swaddle. Get your eyes on Koala next. Hops and puffs. What's wrong? <laughs> now, Quentin needed constant stimulation. He liked watching his mobile, swinging, and having a conversation with his parents. He disliked tummy time and turning his head to the left. So we visited the physio and started baby boot camp to get stronger. And soon enough, Quentin could spend time on his belly and look both ways. Quentin's first playtime activities involved happy dancing and scooting along the floor. <laughs>